gather around because today we are going to dive into the fascinating world of our own framework, the skeleton. Think your body as the most magnificent castle and the skeleton. It is a strong structural foundation that holds everything together and allows you to stand tall and explore the whole world. Now let me introduce you to the incredible world of bones. The skeleton is not just about giving your body a shape. It's a powerhouse of wonders. Imagine your ribs as a shield protecting your heart and lungs. Your skull like a strong fortress shields your brain the command center of your body from any harm now let me begin by introducing the skull it is a protective helmet of our body our skull is composed of eight cranial bones and 14 facial bones which are joined together like puzzle pieces the function of our skull is to protect the brain and the function of our facial bones is to give shape to our face the backbone also known as the spine is like the body's central support structure it is made up of series of backbones called as vertebrae. The main function of backbone is to protect the spinal cord, which is like a super highway for message between the brain and the rest of the body. So think of your body's backbone, superhero cape, keeping the things in a line and helping you to stay strong and flexible. Do you know there are 12 pairs of ribs in your rib cage? The seven pairs of ribs are known as the true ribs because they are directly connected to the sternum and play a crucial role in helping your brain. The next three pairs are known as the false ribs because they are not directly connected to the sternum but join to the seventh pair of ribs. Finally, the last two pairs of ribs are known as the floating ribs because they are not connected to the sternum or the ribs above together. These ribs together form a protective cage keeping your precious organs safe. Think about your rib cage as your body's security system. Your arms and legs. Your upper arm has one big bone called humerus, which connects to your shoulder. Then your forearm has two more bones, radius and ulna. These bones help you to straighten your arm, bend your arm or to twist your arm. Now onto your legs. The thigh bone is the femur. It is the longest bone in your body. It connects to the hip and plays a crucial role in letting you kick a soccer ball or to take a big step. Below the knee, there are two more bones, tibia and fibula. With the help of these bones, we can walk, run or jump. By understanding the role of the skeleton in our bodies, we gain a deeper appreciation for the framework which keeps us going on every day. So remember, 